function a source, but how about the display to watch the content from the source? Well, this is obviously designed to interface directly with a home theater projector with the um, uh, connection. And of course, one of the things that I have been working on, as I said in the introduction, I work with manufacturers to produce uh, high quality display devices. And at the moment, um, I'm working with Samsung, and this is our current product. It's um, the model 800 projector, and this is a single chip 720 progressive DLP projector. And uh, this projector has been designed to emulate the broadcast quality display device that's used to create programming. So one of the things that makes this unique is that this can produce an image quality that looks very much like the same image that was used in the process of creating program material. Okay, so what's, but more specifically, what's, what's sets this unit apart for the competition? The most important thing that sets this apart is this conforms to system standards and the majority of display devices that are on the market don't. The majority of manufacturers building devices try to make theirs look individual to attract your attention and so that even within a single manufacturer's product line uh, they will have a whole bunch of devices that will will produce a different quality of picture because they want you to buy one piece over another. The philosophy behind this projector is that there is one way for a display device to function and this display device has been designed to meet those industry specifications for how it's supposed to perform. So it's set apart from almost everything else on the market in that this works according to system standards and most other display devices do not work according to system standards. Okay, so it was my understanding that this device could handle any color space. Can you develop a bit yeah, further? This, this particular, um, among the important parameters in display is the color of red, green, and blue. And in our world, there are three different sets of red, green, and blue. There's the EBU uh, for the European Broadcasting Union. There is HD for all high definition worldwide. And there is SMPTC for standard definition in the United States. This particular display device can do all three sets of colors and the selection of which set of colors is used is part of the user menu system. So that you go in using the remote control, you make the decision. If you're watching PAL DVDs, you switch over to EBU color space. If you're watching NTSC DVDs, you switch over to SMPTC color space. And eventually we'll start producing high definition content with high definition colorimetry and the high definition option will be in the projector ready to go. Okay, so does it work out of the box or does it have to be uh, set, it up, set up properly? Uh, the design of this is such that it is approximately right out of the box. It can't be exactly right because the screen is a part of what you see. So home calibration is still critical if you want it to be exactly what it's supposed to be. Not only that, home calibration is critical because this device cannot predict what source devices you're going to be using. Yet this device has lots of memory to compensate for any anomalies, I won't say any, but for, for anticipated anomalies in source devices so that you can have multiple memories, one memory for a DVD player, another memory for a set-top box, and so as source devices change, you can call up new memories to make those source devices look as good as possible. 
So, Joe, you did not forget us you, uh, Europeans because you did produce a PAL version of DVE and more recently a French version of the DVD. So, what do you have in store for us European people? In, and more specifically, are you supposed to attend to the next ISC show? I'm certainly now spending a great deal more of my time in Europe. And yes, I am going to be at the ISC show on the 1st through the 3rd of February in Brussels. But I also plan on staying in Europe for the rest of February. And I'm going to try to see if I can put together a tour of visiting various cities. And Paris is certainly going to be one of them. Uh, but from Brussels, uh, there is a good chance of my visiting four or five cities in Europe during the month of February so that uh, we can go out and do demonstrations of what high definition is all about and what picture quality is all about. I'm certainly interested in showing what is available and what can be done and I believe that when consumers in Europe see what can be done, they're going to be as enthusiastic about home theater as I am. Okay, that would be very appropriate since IDEF will be available by the beginning of 2006, at least that's the plan. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you Joe for your time and enjoy the cruise. Thank, thank you so you much. Thank you very much. Goodbye.